Greetings folks, I have an interesting little motor sent to me from T-Motor to have a look at. It's a new release, it's the AT2306-2300 kV motor with a short shaft. It's lightweight design, 28 grams, uh, designed to run on 2S or 3S, so it's designed for sort of small park flyers, home built planes I guess. Little things that uh, don't need a big spanking motor and a, and a threaded shaft. This will be perfect for flight test style planes. I happen to have one here. This is the simple sawer I think. I'm going to mount up this motor on the nose and turn it into an electric glider. Let's have a closer look at it now. It's a nicely designed, good looking little motor. There's T motor logo there, AT2306-2300 kV. Uh, you need to solder on some bullet connectors or solder it directly to an ESC, whatever you want. And it's got this nice little cross mount sort of integrated into the, the base of it. Keeps the weight down, I guess. Let's have a look at what else is in the box. Quality control card. And we get some silica gel to stop it getting condensation inside. And we also get the mounting bands and a couple of prop adapter rings and some mounting screws as well. Well, that's very good. So what I'm going to do now is solder up some bullet connectors on here, mount it up on the nose of the simple sawer and take it for a fly. Here it is mounted on the nose of the flight test simple sawer, just using the provided screws and the little X mount. I have a 7x3.5 prop on there and I'm going to run it on 2S. Just about to run it up and uh, see how much current it draws. Well, that's pulling about 10 amps at half throttle. I wasn't game to go any higher because I think the prop would fly off <laughs> with that rubber band mount. Uh, but that'll be plenty to get this glider going. So I guess the advantage of having this rubber band mount rather than the uh, threaded shaft and a prop nut is that if you can never lose the, the prop nut. You can mount it just using a rubber band. It's not as securely mounted, of course, and it makes it a bit hard to balance because the, the prop can sort of mount in different positions, but uh, for lightweight builds and sort of quick and easy mounting, it works well. It's nice and smooth. Beautiful. Oh, it's perfect for this. Can turn the revs right down. It's just going to cruise around nice and quietly. I'm on oh, about a third throttle. Oh, it's perfect for this. <laughs> it's beautiful. Lovely day to fly, very calm. Gorgeous. No fuss motor. I can just fly around like this for ages. I've got a 2200 2S in there. Suiting it perfectly. So this is about 500 grams all up or 450 grams. So it's, it's pushing that along without any problems at all. Uh, I <laughs> haven't even got up to half throttle yet. Nice and smooth, low fuss, very simple to put the prop on. This is lovely. Slide it back in. And, of course, when it hits the ground, the prop just bends like that rather than breaking. So what's the advantage of having this sort of motor? Well, it keeps it very, very lightweight because it hasn't got a, a, a shaft and a nut. 
which are all reasonably heavy. You can always uh, replace the band with any sort of rubber band to hold any prop on as long as it fits the prop adapter. Basically small, lightweight, nicely designed. Works very well for these sort of lightweight uh, scratch builds or lightweight models, just park flyers. So that's the AT2306 KV2300 motor from T-Motor.